So today, Fellow came out with this. This is a new accessory. It's a coffee scale, and it's called their Tally Pro Precision Scale Studio Edition. We gotta love those naming schemes. And today I wanna to talk about why this is actually my new favorite filter coffee scale. And no, this isn't influenced by Fellow. This isn't sponsored and they don't get to see this before you do. But I have been using this scale for a few months now and I've had the ability to really play with this thing, really get dirty with it to understand what Fellow has tried to achieve here. But there are some key features here that I wanna highlight that Fellow has knocked it out of the park and beat competitors like, well, Akaya and some other competitors here that we're gonna compare to today. Before we get into this, if you guys would do me a huge favor, scroll down on this video, tamp that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm them. It tells YouTube this is a video worth sharing. It would mean the world to me and help this channel grow. Subscribe if you haven't already. YouTube tells me a lot of you guys watch these videos and just haven't hit that white subscribe button down below. It'd mean the world. And also while you're down there, let me know in the comments what you're brewing today. What coffee roaster, processing method, varietal. I'm going to read every single one of those comments. Go do that. Let's move on. It's a $185 scale. And so we're talking about expensive scales, especially when you can go to the store, pay 20 bucks for a scale that weighs out coffee the exact same way. It does everything that the scale kind of does mostly. I mean, the bottom line is you want it to weigh your products out. So why would you spend so much money? Now, the biggest metaphor, the biggest illustration I can give here is that the scale to the barista is the cutting board to the chef. This is the product that you use most often to brew your coffee. Like a chef uses a cutting board to, to prepare their product, so is also true with the coffee scale. It's one of those things that often gets pushed aside, but as you become a professional, or maybe you're an enthusiast or a home barista who wants to expand their hobby, you start to go down this rabbit hole of wanting things that you interact with daily to feel nice, that give you good feedback, to have a good experience, and that's what is trying to do here, I think, with the fellow tally. Now, how do they do that? Well, this is a very premium feeling scale because this is actually all metal and glass. In fact, if I weigh this out, this is 585 grams. It's hefty, it's heavy. On the top here is a big plate. This can actually pop off for cleaning, I guess replacements in case it's all scratched up. I do enjoy this, especially for cleaning purposes. Underneath here is a sensor. You can see every point on this is very, very sensitive and responsive and fast. In fact, so fast, if I was to put this up against the Akaya Lunar, just wedge these up with some coffee burrs, don't mind me. For me, the Lunar has always been that gold standard of what a responsive scale would look like. It's fast, it's quick, especially if you come from an older scale like that Hario one I mentioned earlier. Now, speaking of response times, if you're gonna spend $185 on a scale, you're gonna want it to feel very premium and new and high tech. And that's what it does. Its refresh rate is fast and the response time of the scale is incredibly fast too, faster than that of the Akaya. Outside of that, we've got a full glass front here, which you've got a beautiful screen up at the front here. It's nice, it's big, it's easy to read. It's got this big dial, the same as their scales on the EKG. Got this little button on the side here, which you can actually change from brew assist, which we'll talk about, timer, and then weight. Now weight would be your typical, where you can measure ounces, grams, milliliters, or pounds. If you want to use this for other things outside of coffee, or if you just want to use this mode for coffee, you can do so. The other feature in timer would be your traditional coffee scale setup, where you would have the weight on one side, and then you would have the timer on the other side that is activated by this big button here. What really sets the scale apart for me is this new feature called Brew Assist. And I think if you are an owner of a cafe, if you're a barista and wanting to improve their ability to brew coffee, or maybe you're a novice and you wanna learn how to brew pour overs, or you're always confused on brew ratios, this is a fantastic mode for you. How it works is you would take your coffee beans and what's gonna happen is it's gonna do all the math for you in terms of your brew ratio. Now, right here, I have it at 114. I'm gonna move this up to 116, 18 grams of coffee. So in the middle, you have your ratio that you can adjust by turning this dial. And on one side, it tells you your coffee that you're weighing out. And on the other side, it shows you your water output, how much water you're gonna be pouring over these ground beans. And once you hit that time button, it's ready to brew coffee. What it's gonna do is show your weight in the pill in the center, very traditional. But what it's gonna do is when it gets to the water weight that you need for that coffee, it's gonna invert the color, telling you that you have reached your ratio, you can stop pouring water. And I've gotta say, this brew assist feature is really nice. It's something I love to see and what I love 
love about this scale most is its simplicity. The only time I wanted some Bluetooth in this scale specifically was to use like a smart profiler for espresso, but espresso is a different conversation and that's not what this scale is. So I never found myself using those Bluetooth modes for filter coffee personally. One other thing is this has got a rechargeable battery, which I love to see and it's got USB-C. And I do think that fellow is going to start with this scale at the Studio Pro or the Pro Studio. But I personally feel as though this is a first of many and this will be their more expensive offering and then eventually we'll get cheaper scales from Fellow because that seems to be how they name things. The studio, the Pro Studio is their most expensive. So at 185, I don't think the scale is gonna get more money than that, but it does seem that they might have some cheaper plastic versions of the scale down the line though I don't know that for sure, it would make sense. This is the Akaya Lunar, which is a very, 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 very popular espresso scale. And this one right here is a brand new scale from Mixcool. It's a company that I featured on my SCA video, which if you haven't watched that, click this video up here. But this is a newer brand from Taiwan and they're making a cool grinder called the Aries. They also have the scale that it's pretty cool and it shuts off when you close it. But these two are my personal favorite scales that I use daily. And honestly, since I've gotten this, the only other scale I use is this for espresso because this is just too big. Now let's talk about some cons here because there's definitely some. First off, it's priced at $185. It's definitely expensive and definitely not for everybody. It makes it hard for me to recommend for most people. But if you are somebody who wants a premium scale and you know you wanna spend this much money, then sure. But for other people who are on a budget, yeah, it's hard to recommend at this price unless you know this is what you want. So I do hope they come out with cheaper models of the scale. Number two is its knob. And I've talked about this with other friends because my EKG has this wobbly knob and it's something that I've talked about in the past. I wish they fixed that on the scale. It's still there. It's not a reason I wouldn't buy the scale, but it's definitely not a reason to celebrate. Also that piano black finish on the scale, it's beautiful and looks really nice when clean, but when dirty, it doesn't look great and it can be annoying to keep clean, at least comparatively to other scales. And lastly, it would have been nice if this was slightly smaller so we could use it for espresso, though I can't really dock too many points here because it's clearly designed for filter coffee in mind. So maybe we'll have to wait and see if fellow has an espresso scale down the line, maybe an espresso machine. Time will tell. But if you are in the market for a coffee scale and you want to spend this much money, I would say, yes, I recommend this scale. Does everybody need to buy this scale? No. You don't. In fact, there are many ways that you can get scales much cheaper. I'll leave a bunch of scales linked down below if you want to save some money, including this one here, of course. But this is nice. And fellow, you did a good job making a beautiful scale in the Tally Pro Studio. And I'm excited to see what cheaper options come out because this will be my top recommended scale for filter coffee. Now be sure to tamp that like button down below if you are interested in the tally or if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. I love every single one of you guys. We'll see you all in the next video. Have a wonderful day. Bye.